Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Trophy and today I'm going to be reviewing this beautiful bob. This is actually a wig that I got from Hair Vivi. They sent me the wig in this box right here and the box was a little beaten up but hey, the hair was still in there and it was perfectly fine. So inside of the box was of course the wig. It was inside of this plastic bag and they also, oops. And you also get a free choker, so that's a nice little touch. And you also get weave caps. I actually didn't put on the weave cap because I didn't really need it. So the wig is 14 inches, and I guess that's in the front because it obviously is longer in the front. And then as you get to the back, it gets shorter and shorter. And then it has that perfect diagonal cut. I absolutely love the cut of this wig. Like, whoever did this, they did that because, like, it's cut so nicely. I didn't have to do anything to it whatsoever, and it just looks so freaking chic right the cut just makes it look so chic and so pretty so the density is 150 when I first put it on I had to adjust because you know my hair is so thick and when I wear my weaves it's so super super thick but I think the density is perfect for this cut because if it was too thick then it probably wouldn't look as good the color is a natural color and I was kind of confused by that because it said it was a black bob straight wig and her hair really isn't black it's like a, a regular 1B type of natural color. In the front, it has 4.5 inches of parting space, which is a, a really big amount of parting space. So you can part it anywhere you want to on the sides, in the middle, whatever. I think I'm just going to keep the middle part just because of the way it's cut and everything. I think it looks really good with the middle part. I did try to do a side part, and that really doesn't affect the cut because, you know, in the front, it's like the same length. So if you do a side part, then it'll probably look just as good, but you don't want to part it too far to the side because it's gonna mess up the cut but I think I'm just gonna keep it with the middle part because I just like the way that it looks like this but you definitely get a lot of parting space which is very good about it and this whole front part of it is lace so you can like put it up in a little ponytail or whatever whatever you want to do well, the cap is constructed so nicely you guys um you have an option when you order this that you can get an elastic band put on it which I asked for I got a size medium cap and it fits me perfectly like I'm so glad I got this size. It fits me absolutely perfectly. And the fact that I got the elastic band on it just makes everything just sit down. I would definitely recommend getting the elastic band added to it because it's not even extra at all. So like, what are you losing? Because the elastic band really helps everything to stay snug and it helps it to stay on your head. I did use the comb in the back and that's it because you have a comb in the back. You have two combs on the side. You have a comb in the middle. So you have one, two, three, four combs, and I have the elastic band. And also, it's like an adjustable strap part in the back too. So if you want to adjust that part, if it's not fitting you right, you can adjust that as well. So you definitely have a lot of options with the wig. I just found that it's unnecessary for me to use the clips in the front because it kind of hurts my head. All I really need is the clip in the back and the adjustable strap. I didn't secure this wig down with anything else other than that. I didn't use no glue or anything like this can literally come up or down but I think it's pretty secure for the way that I wear my hair when I get a wig what I like to do is just put it on like I don't want to get a wig and have to do all this work to it you know to make it look good every single day like what's the point of having a wig if you can't just throw it on and that's what I like about this wig is you can just throw it on and it looks really really good I asked them to bleach my knots for me which I probably shouldn't have done because they kind of over bleached the knots. So I was kind of like freaking out when I first got the wig. But what I did to fix it was I tinted my lace and that pretty much made everything like a okay. So what I did was got my Adore, my handy dandy Adore Sierra Brown um, semi-permanent hair color. And I just tinted my lace and that pretty much made everything okay. It looks way better than it did when I got it out the box. So tinting the lace was pretty much the only change that I made to the wig. And I also washed and conditioned the hair and it just looks so pretty and so flowy actually right at the box it was already pretty and flowy I really didn't have to wash it but of course since I tinted the lace might as well wash it so um I absolutely love this wig you guys like this is a change for me I don't remember when I ever had hair this length other than like my real hair this length I don't never like wear wigs or weave that's short or anything like that so this is a nice change and it's so freaking cute like <sighs> I just feel like a new woman. So the pros about this wig is it already comes cut and it looks so pretty. It's like the perfect cut. This asymmetrical bob or lob, uh, whatever you want to call it. 
and it's so freaking pretty you don't have to do anything to it i'll turn to the back so i can show you guys the cut what it looks like actually in the back it's not like a real bob because i know bobs are supposed to be like this short but it's like i would say it is a lob instead of a bob which you know that's still cute so another pro about this hair is it's like low maintenance you don't have to do much to it other than pop it on they have like all these extra features the combs and the adjustable strap and then they put the elastic band on it for you so they pretty much make it so that you don't have to do too much and you can be out the house um like i said the only thing i had to do was tint the lace if you're a lighter skin tone then you probably don't even have to do that much so that's good. I didn't pluck out my hairline or anything because I'm just going to wear a, a middle part. So I didn't feel like that was necessary. But you can definitely do that too. You can definitely customize it. Because when I first got it, it had the lace on there. So you can definitely customize it and do whatever you want to. This is virgin Indian hair. So of course you can color it. You can add heat to it and do all those things. When I first got out the box, it was of course a little uh, crinkly because it was in the bag. And all I had to do was run over it with my flat iron. And then it just got this like silky straight i just absolutely love it it feels so good there's absolutely no tangling whatsoever shedding i have not experienced any shedding at all either which is amazing so no shedding no tangling like what more can you ask for so yeah i'm absolutely in love with this wig but of course it's not perfect i have one con and one con only which are the flyaways so when i first got it I didn't see the flyaways, but when I flat ironed it and added heat to it, there is it was like I got electrocuted, you guys. Like in the middle, there were a whole bunch of little flyaways, and I was like, what the heck? Like, what am I gonna do about this? But you can easily solve the problems of the flyaways by using a mousse. So after I flat ironed my hair, and it was after like I did everything that I want to do as far as styling my hair the very end like the finishing touch i got my mousse i got one pump this is the mousse that i use i use the cream of nature argan oil from morocco style and shine foaming mousse and i got one pump only of it i like put it in my hands and then all i did was put the mousse right here on top of the hair so it pretty much just makes the flyaways lay down flat and you can't even tell that it has flyaways so that would be my only con about it is the flyaways but everything else about this hair is perfect like this wig is just everything and this is like my first wig wig like one that i didn't make one that just you know just came to me and it's like wow this is a whole new world like wearing wigs like not having to make it what, what have i been doing so i think i'm gonna be doing a lot more um wig reviews for you guys and wearing a lot more wigs because it's like so fun to switch up your style meanwhile my natural hair is braided underneath here it's secure it's moisturized i don't have to worry about it which is always a good thing so like i said earlier this is the black bob straight india virgin lace front wig and if you guys want to check this wig out or any of the other wigs go ahead and check out their website hairvv.com and i actually have a coupon for you guys which you can get 15 percent off the coupon code of course is trove dough so make sure you use that at checkout so you guys can save some money i hope you guys enjoyed this review leave any questions that you have below so i can definitely answer it for you um thumbs up this video if you guys want to see more wig reviews because i want to do some more i'm getting some more wigs so might as well review them you know so yeah thumbs up this video if you enjoy wig reviews if you're not already make sure you subscribe to my channel comment below something nice something sweet and i'll see you guys next time bye